So I just got uh, another gadget in the mail, and it's a kitchen gadget. It's this thing. It's an adjustable measuring spoon. So this adjustable measuring spoon is a um, it's a replacement for you know all of your little individual measuring spoons. And on one side, it's got um, a tablespoon all the way down to a teaspoon. And then on the other side, you've got from a teaspoon all the way down to one eighth of a teaspoon. But there is a slight catch. So when I was looking online to buy one of these, I saw some really expensive ones that were around like 30 bucks. And then I saw these plastic ones that are like a dollar. And I was like, awesome, I'll get the dollar one. But then I noticed this little detail here. The measurements on here are a bit bizarre because five mils is indeed a metric teaspoon. But 13 mils is not a metric tablespoon. It's nothing. So I bought it anyway, and I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to measure 13 mils and see if it's actually 15, which is what it should be. Scale set up, and what do we got? 12? Well, that's no good. <laughs> Mate, let me all do this again. Okay, let's see. This is number two. 13. Okay, well... It looks like it's not 15. Well, there you go. Adjustable measuring spoon. So, 13 mils, it's not terribly good because it really should be 15 or in Australia it's actually 20. But to be honest, I'm not really a baker. It's mostly for cooking and so measuring, you know, 13 mils of soy sauce instead of 15 mils is not going to be a big deal. So, for a buck and it replaces all my other spoons, yeah, it's probably okay.